What's going on guys? I am Matthias. This is my lovely wife. Hey guys. Amanda Faye. And my lovely daughter all ready to go in her car seat. <laughs> that face. Why that face? Well, anyways, today we are um, gonna go do some errands, but we're gonna go pick up some fan mail because we haven't picked up fan mail in ages. And just like always, the UPS store calls they us. Did? Yeah, they called me. Today? They called me and uh, okay. they were like, you need to come pick up your stuff because you got a lot of stuff. So we're gonna get home and uh, maybe open up some of it. We still have some here too though, so got a lot to do. A lot to do, a lot to do. And Amanda, did you write a list for groceries? I did. I did All right, we're set. Great. I, I always try to offer to do groceries for Amanda. Um, I'm like, I'll pick them up, I'll pick them up when I come home from work. And she's like, it's, it's just easier if I just go myself. I just, it is. Like, I, I'm doing my best. I try. I try. No, you do amazing. But she you doesn't want. About. She doesn't want me to do it for what? some reason. It's just easier because sometimes I write lists and I don't always put everything I need. The lock I know is that, so loud. That lock is really annoying. Um, so like I'll walk around the store. I'm like, oh, I do need this. I forgot to add it. I do need this. But yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you, girly. So yesterday, Matthias and I walked out into our backyard for like five minutes. Yeah. Less than five minutes, and I got four bug bites because it was like 70% humidity or something like that. I didn't even see the bugs, but like they are turning into like these big welts. But yeah. I started using lavender essential oil on them, which I didn't have when I was in DC and that's why I had like really big welts. And so they're not too bad. I don't, you can't even really see that, but I have you one on my hand. Doing something? Yeah, it's like gone, they've gone down so much. I have like two on my chest. Like, ugh, oh, they're man. so I hate painful. lights like that. Oh yeah, that light lasted literally like three, three seconds. Cars. Three seconds. My word, there's so many cars over there. Matthias is getting upset. Yeah, he's getting upset. It's also like rush hour. Everyone's coming home. Yeah. But yeah, so I have these touch essential oil rollers that I've been using on both me and the baby. But I've been using this one on my bug bites. Lavender. This is diluted, so it's lavender coconut oil, so it's like soothing. I use it when she scratches herself. And it goes down like two seconds. It doesn't, it's like no red anymore. Cause her little nails are so sharp and she won't let me cut them or file them. <laughs> she won't, she hates it. I know, I hope she doesn't hate having manicures when she's older cause that's what I love to do. <laughs> Mother daughter manicures, that'd be fun. Um. I, I tweeted that I wanted to do um, a, like waiting for the day that I can have a mother daughter Gilmore Girls marathon with her. No, no, no. Yeah. She's not gonna. Watch. She's gonna watch Star Wars. She's um, gonna be and like, Gilmore Girls. She's gonna be, <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to find. We'll have to see what. And she Harry likes. Potter. You know, she could. She could like. You know, the the geeky tech stuff, or she could like the girly fur fur stuff. She could like both. Gilmore Girls isn't girly yeah, fur fur like, stuff. Gilmore Girls is kind of fur fur. There's a. The, the dialogue is fur fur. If there ever was a, a <laughs> adjective for Gilmore Girls. There is a Gilmore Girls. Diner pop-up shop coming to LA tomorrow. Yeah, she could like both though, that's true. I hope so. I hope she does like both. Of course. Are you okay? <laughs> she's got a little mirror there. I think she's getting she's upset. Getting All right, we're at the UPS store because they called us and we had to go through the back door because there's just too much postage to carry out to the car and we can't always guarantee a really close parking spot when we come over here. And there's Matthias getting the boxes one by one. Oh, is that it? Yeah, oh, nice. There's not a whole ton of stuff. I said, oh, nice. Oh. I was like, oh, there's not that much stuff. There's only this there's much. There's still a decent amount of stuff. There's, look, all in here. I know, but before, we, our entire car was full. That is true, but we still have a lot of fan mail. Mm -hmm. A lot. Finishing up our visit here at Target, look at how full this cart is. I don't think I've ever seen our cart that full. It's really full because there's paper towels and toilet paper in there, so that makes the cart look fuller. That's true. That's true. But we still got some unnecessary things. I saw a Nerf gun that's going to make the guys so jealous. <laughs> it's a Star Wars Nerf gun. What's really cool here too, something I'm really excited about, and I never come at the right time. They actually put out Rogue One paraphernalia. And I like, I'm, they must have done it in like, like yesterday or the day before, so it's super exciting because I'm actually seeing everything and everything's not sold out. Not that I'm buying anything, it's just cool to see it. Well, the toys are sold out though. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, it's not, I just like to see it, you know, I'm, I'm not like really going to buy it. I know, I see this Rogue One t-shirt, that's pretty cool. Alright, we are done at Target and let me tell you that I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I am so tired now. Look at this, I got like a, I have a contour thing on my, you know. 
What are I you don't talking know, I'm so tired. about? Like when he was like animating stuff, he'd put like this like a uh, shadow thing on the side of their face, and that's what it looked like to me. <laughs> um, but there's this really cute line of baby clothes at Target, and they just started like carrying them like a couple months ago, and it's called Cat and Jack, and they are the cutest clothes in the world. Plus, they're pretty cheap for baby clothes. So I got her a bunch of cute things because she's growing out of everything so quickly. Cat and Jack? Yeah, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I just I just die. I just die. It's so cute. It's not like Rachel Zoe from like 2005. <laughs> so funny. Did you guys ever watch that show? The Rachel Zoe show or something? I can't remember what it's Never called. Never heard of it. She's a stylist, a celebrity stylist. Oh, no she's wonder. <laughs> so funny that, I don't know, like she'd always say stuff like, this literally bananas, or like, I die. It's so funny. I just, I just die. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. I don't know where you can watch it, but um, there's a couple seasons. Hey baby, what you doing? We're getting some fan mail done. Fan mail in the evening. We don't do it in the morning, so mornings are crazy. <laughs> All right, so this is from Micro Landscape Design. Micro what? Landscape Design. Somebody tweeted me and was like, I sent you a special succulent and maybe this was it. What in, wait, what? I don't know. Ooh, this is it. How does that even work? This says, Amanda, thank you for all your positive energy. I absolutely adore you, love and light. Christina. And so this is a succulent, I think. I can't see it. I'm trying to see. get it out. I'm so curious. How do they send a plant in the mail? A plant. They are alive and beautiful. This mini plant is a fashionable kit for your phone or key ring and are lots of fun to grow. Once grown, they can be transplanted to a larger pot for your home what? or garden. How bizarre. Interesting, there's like a little thing to water it with. What? How interesting. Uh-oh, I can't see it. I'm trying to unwrap it. You're trying to like get in, it's I'm in trying plastic. To, I, I'm trying to get in there. It's in plastic. You're gonna make all our viewers dizzy. Okay, this says, Never give up, and that's what it looks like. Wow, that is so awesome. And there's a little... Look at that. And this goes on your phone? Yeah, I remember like old phones. I used to have yeah. a bunch of those. Yeah, the little those phone really charms. Yeah, with uh, flip phones, because they had a little thing where you could put the antenna. Uh, not the antenna, it's like right next to the antenna, and you feed the syringe. Like, oh my gosh, that was like the thing to do when I was in high school. Especially like with the Asians because they had all like the little... <laughs> the Asians? What do you mean the Asians? Well, they would have all the little uh, like... Um... You mean you included? No, I, I didn't really do that because I'm not really into a lot of like Asian... No, but you're Asian. Yeah, but like a lot of my friends like, had like bunches of like little things like this, but they were all like Asian characters from like anime mm. and stuff like that from like, uh, you know, Kropi and... Um, I don't know what that is. Yeah, just other things like that. like. Not to Toro, because that wasn't that popular back then, but like they would have uh, all those other animals. That's but this is awesome. Thank you, Christina. And I promise I will try not to kill it. This is last watered on 923. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with plants, but this is really cute. That is really this cute. It's so adorable. It doesn't even look real. I specifically picked this one to open on camera because I knew Matthias would like it. Why? How do this you know? It's from. It's pretty in gold. Uh, there is no return address, so I don't know who it's from, but it says there's sweets, <gasps> and it's from, I don't know where it's from, but it's maybe <laughs> Canada? I don't know. <laughs> Great Britain. From Great Britain. Yummy! <gasps> oh! 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 oh. He's getting so excited. Oh, what? It Look says, at these things. Dear Matthias, Amanda, and Luna. My name is Charlotte and I'm 12 years old. I am from Cambridge, England. I love watching your videos. I think you guys are amazing, inspiring people. So I have sent you some of my favorite British sweets. Well, thank you so much, Charlotte. Oh, and she says there's a silver little necklace for me. Oh, how cute. This so that means really all cute. this is for me. No, that's for us to share. But she goes and she gives a description of all of what? the candies. What is this? Love hearts. They're like Smarties. How funny. Yeah. We have these here too, but I'm sure yours tastes better. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They just, they make candy and chocolate different in America than they do in other countries. Yeah, even in the same brands. Yeah, same brands. Like if you buy like Cadbury chocolate here, Mm -hmm. It tastes completely different than it does in Europe, but you have to go to World Market 
to get the good stuff because they import it. Oh, um, interesting, like really. From Europe and stuff like that. That's really interesting. Rainbow drops, as <laughs> she wrote in all different colors mm -hmm. there. The colors uh, of the rainbow. Rainbow drops are sweet puffs of rice. Oh, interesting. So they're puffed though, so. No, I handed you scissors. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm too busy for scissors, sweet. I know, but you always open the packages weird. So, see that? See that? That's pretty cool. Oh, I thought it'd be like chewy. Kind of like the hundreds of thousands or something like that from like Mexico. Mm, very interesting. Are they good? Not what I thought it was gonna be, yeah. Tastes like zero. Oh, I thought it was Slightly like candy. Slightly chewy though. Slightly chewy though, here, taste it. I don't think you'll like it. It's like candy mixed with cereal almost. It's like stale cereal, but it's like weird. No. But it's like candy. I know, I don't know how I feel about this. This <laughs> is great. I really wanna try these though. I'm gonna try these. What is that? This is love hearts, the little hearts. Hug me. They're sherberty sweets. Mmm. 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 You like those? You like mm. those? Those are really good. Mmm. They're like, you know, the compressed powder candies, but. Like Smarties? Mm -hmm. Very similar to Smarties, but more tart. Thank you, Charlotte, for sending that really, really cute and fun, yummy package. I know Matthias, he's already gotten in the other stuff. <laughs> All right, this one is from iPops LLC. And I don't know what that means. So, oh, look at this. iPops, customize your time. It's for your Apple Watch. Ooh, we both have an Apple Watch. Yeah, so if you wanna look at that while I read this. Okay, so these are like charms for your watch, essentially. What kind of charms did we get? Ooh, I don't know. I and don't if you guys are interested, know. you can check that out. Promo code iPops at JMJ on uh, myipops.com. Matt and Amanda. It looks like a Tiffany's box. Man, it does. All right, let's see, let's see. All right. Oh, cute. Okay. So, there's so little some... sunglasses, mustache, a top hat. Then... I think it's a bear. And then what are those up there? Um, there's a feather, um, just like a little ball, and then a little diamond. That's so interesting. It's so interesting to see what like is actually out there that you just had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did I not know about this? I don't know, that's really cool. Thank you for sending that to us. Danny Dodge and Lucy Simone's from iPops. That's really sweet of you. If you guys are interested, there's a bunch of different things. Check them out. Oh yeah, these are the ones that we got. Yeah, right there. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, this one is from Bethany from Georgia. Okay, sorry for the accent, but whoever sends me stuff from Georgia, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Georgia. Just expect it. Was it from the office? No. Is that why you do I that don't... accent? Oh, maybe it's from uh, that one, um, what do they call it? Like the- The murder mur mystery? Mur yeah, murder mystery. Oh, she got her hands out. She's good now. <laughs> Did she? Yeah. That little girl, she hates being swaddled. She finally got her hands out there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so many of you guys, because I was, you know, telling you that she doesn't sleep very well at night and I have to hold her a lot and you guys were sending me a bunch of like ideas for like swaddles and stuff like that because I help the baby sleep. She hates to be swaddled. Absolutely <laughs> She we sure does. We have bought so many different types of swaddles like just like the plain fabric swaddles that worked in the hospital for a week. They worked great. And and, and, and you should mention swaddle. you should mention that all different tightnesses too. It's not just yeah. like super tight or super loose. Yeah. Like she just hates it all. She hates it all because in utero she had her hands like right here. Yeah. Like, like in that what do you call that? Ultrasound? Yeah, her right hands there. Are like this. And so she if you swaddle her, she just wakes up because she's try she's fighting it so much. We bought like the magic swaddle, a bunch of different ones. Ones that are it seems kind of mean because it's kinda like It's like, like a zip up jacket. straight jacket. A straight jacket, yeah, so so their hands are like you velcroed by their side so they don't wake themselves up, but she just doesn't like that. Yeah, we've even we've even tried uh, swaddling her so her hands are up. She just doesn't like it. And she does not she wants her hands free. <laughs> Um, and so she likes to sleep with her hands <laughs> out sometimes. She likes to sleep behind her, behind her head. She just does all sorts of crazy things with her hands. It's so funny, but um, what is it, the Moro reflex? The Moro reflex, you know, the, the reflex in which babies scare themselves awake by their arms just moving all around. The more she's like that, the more she has her hands out, the, the, the less prominent that reflex becomes. So I, I bet you her reflex is way less than a normal kid that has been 
swaddled. Swaddled, but yeah. that's just an assumption. <laughs> what's really, what's really funny is that most of the time she'll just sleep like this. Their hands will like cover <laughs> yeah. her head, or she'll sleep like this, like a mummy, or she'll just sleep like this, and it's just so funny. I like it when she sleeps with her hands over her head. Yeah, we have a picture of her doing that. It's so cute when she's little, and I like. I was, she's in the same bouncer as she is now, but like she's so little, like yeah. she's not as long, so she looks so tiny in it, and I it's know. crazy how she's just grown so quickly, like gotten long. She's she's gonna be tall, I think. She's got big feet right now. She's got big feet. Okay, so this is from Bethany. I'm sorry, I just have to talk about my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute this card is. Oh, that is cute. It's so me. Oh wow. Matt, Amanda, and Luna. Hi, my name is Bethany, and I live in Warner Robins. Oh, wow, really nice writing. Yeah, Warner Robins, Georgia. I planned on sending something for a while, but didn't know what to send until you announced you're pregnant. After you tried a Georgia accent, I knew I had to send something. <laughs> See, there she goes with her hands above her head. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Uh, she said, after you tried doing a Georgia accent, I knew I had to send something. I tried to include a little something for each of you. The items for Luna were handmade <laughs> by me. <laughs> I tweeted a man about the fabric I used for one item. Wait, is she awake? Is she awake? She was like doing like fist pumps. Oh yeah, her eyes are open. Go back to sleep. It's like looks scary because her eyes have like dots in them. <laughs> in her red. She also she looks like a cat kind of. The food items are from a place about 20 minutes from me that grow, pick, clean, and package peaches. Oh, you can even have peaches delivered to you. Thank you for your positive attitudes and working so hard to entertain your audience. Luna is so blessed already. Love, Bethany. I'll be right back. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't expect her to run away. Wait, no, 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 she's falling asleep. She's moving. Her eyes are shut. Her eyes are shut. Her she's moving like this. Don't disturb her eyes. Are... Now she's, nope, she goes back. She's, she's trolling us right now, girl. What? So before we actually get into this box here, I just wanted to mention that these star bursts are so much better than what's in America. And it's so sad too, because on the ingredients back there, there's actually no artificial flavors or artificial coloring. It's all actually used with fruit juice and everything like that. In America, it's food dye and artificial coloring. And it's made to look real poppy and have a distinct weird flavor, which is okay. These taste real. These taste These like they're good. like, you know, like flavored from actual fruit. Which it's is so like taste, it's like so, like dang man, like I wish these existed in America. Not that like fake, just mm -hmm. fake stuff. Yeah. We even bought Starburst today to hand out for Halloween. Nothing like this. I don't know. It's just like sad because if you want like, um, Wait, we did? Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. If, let me, I'm, I'm gonna go get them and let's compare them. Okay, so check this out guys. American English. You could see right away there's a huge difference between them. This is orange in England, this is orange in America. And this the is red in England. Strawberry in England, and this is cherry in America. And now it's not a, an exact comparison, but you could see if Starburst made a strawberry in America, it'd probably look a lot similar more similar to this. These taste fake, these taste real. Just crazy, so isn't it? Using cherry flavoring might taste a little weird than strawberry, you know? Yeah. Sometimes if you use cherry, I feel like sometimes it could taste like medicine. I mean, I like real cherry, so. Mm, I don't know. Oh, come on. That's the one I want real bad. Oh, you only ate half of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. I'd much rather eat those. All right, so taste the difference between these two, okay? I'll try this one first. You try that one first. Okay, okay so that's definitely a distinct starburst flavor that I just tasted. Mine tastes like orange juice. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna like taste, aftertaste. Now I'm going to taste the it real one. Out. This is a much more natural, real taste. Tastes like, tastes like oranges were used in making it. The English one has mm -hmm. so much more flavor. The English one actually has more flavor to me. The American one tastes fake. Guys, check out this dope hat. <laughs> Super edgy, am I right? You never wear hats. You never wear hats. <laughs> I know, I buy hats. Everyone says I look weird in hats. You don't look weird in hats. I just feel like they're not your style. I can I can pull it off. You pull it off, great. Okay, so you started opening something. <laughs> I did. And then I caught you. Well, because I wasn't sure what it was, you know, and I sometimes I just open fan mail randomly because there's so much of it we can't put all of it on camera. But I was like, oh, what's this? And then I looked at it. It's so cute. And it's and, and I and I stopped you. You stopped me before I could open it because I really want to see what's in it. Yes, I stopped you because because because. <laughs> 
Because? Just put it on camera. To put it on camera so the lovely viewers who sent this and were so generous could well, see your beautiful reaction. There's an, it doesn't say who it's from, it just says it's from California Concepts and maybe there's... Ooh, look at, it, look at all that. Look at all, all that space, yes. Look at that, there's like little divots and stuff like that and holes. Oh, and... what's funny is that the company's name is called Luna Oil. Yes, I know. I thought you they, thought they just thought made they it custom for you? Yeah! <laughs> Luna's like, Oils? <laughs> I was like, oh, that's really cute. They, they know what I thought name You're missing an apostrophe yes there, sweetheart. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I wish I, that's what I thought. Um, I don't know who this is from, but I know somebody tweeted me about an oil box, but I can't remember who it was, and I was like, oil box? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and it just says, Luna Oils, your membership awaits exclusive access, lunaoils.com. Yes, it's a um, very, very nice box. I know, look! I can put my oils in. Oh my gosh, guys, she's obsessed with oils. Because look, I have the roller bottles, and I can't put them anywhere because they go in slots like that. Does that fit? Yeah. Yeah, it sure does. Because mine, I have a small box over there, and I can't put these in there. Look at that, because I just bought a bunch of new ones. Too. I, I worry that one day this will turn into a suitcase, and then turn into a room, and then a house. You already ha you already have an Instagram account? Yes, I just started an Instagram account. Um, I actually started a while ago, but I was like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. And then I was like, I don't know, maybe I should start, because I started getting into them more when Luna was born. I started that before she was born, but then I just got all these bug bites. Look how big that is now. Yes, that's that's nasty. I know. I, know, I have the ones that are the ones that not on my hand. I meant nasty in a sense of like that's a nasty bad bug bite. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying you're this nasty. This is my reaction to the bug bite because it's welting. It's yeah, I know. Big. You're you have bad reactions to bug bites, sweetheart. Yeah, because I have one right here too. Oh, whoa, oh. oh. Oh yeah, so I had a beginning bug bites, so I'm like, oh, why don't I just start posting about like what I'm doing, and that's what I think I'm gonna do. What's the handle? Amanda Fay dot essentials. Ooh, essential. Am why didn't why why couldn't you be clever with it? Like essentially Amanda. Oh, maybe I'll change it to that. <laughs> well, uh, just put the link down the below. Will be you know be announced <laughs> in the description. <laughs> <laughs> that's cuter. I like that. <laughs> Hey, I'm here all week. Currently, there's no posts on it, but uh, that should change. My goal every day is to post one photo on all of my accounts. Oh my to word, feel lady! Like I oh my to be word. purposeful. I have like I have like a thousand accounts, and I still can't do that. Maybe it's because I keep three, adding accounts. I have three accounts, three or four. I don't know. I'm gonna try. I feel like that'll give me purpose. <laughs> you don't have purpose now? I do, but I'm saying like with my own creative self, it'll give me a reason. Mm -hmm. and it won't take too much time at like making jewelry or something like that. Yeah. Or making a video. Yes. So, that I was thinking about that today. I hear that. I, I dig it. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. The American one tastes like a Tic Tac. Yeah. This one says, this was added at the last minute. This is also made by me. I have a side business that I'm trying to get started. I'll include a business card and if you need anything, just let me know. This is Magnolia Blossom Boutique, chic southern design. Guys, go check her out. Magnolia Blossom Boutique, chic southern designs, and more. Bum, ba, da, da. Check it out. Find her on Facebook, Bethany Cute. Whaley. How do you spell that last name? Did I say it right? Whaley? Yeah. Okay. Whaley. This is a um, like a drool bib for Luna. Oh, it looks like a little whale tail. <laughs> Okay. I thought it, you know, what is it? It's a drool bib. That's so funny. Because you don't want to get like food on this. Because um, she's, you know, she's actually starting to drool a lot now because her salivary glands are coming up. <laughs> so it protects her outfit from getting so wet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every time I pick her up, she's always like so wet. And I'm always like, I'm like, wait, did she spit up? No, it's just drool. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. I can't wait for her to wear it. All right. Oh my gosh. You kind of went all out wow. with all this stuff. And so generous. The cutest tissue paper. <gasps> Cute. I suspect the nargles are behind it. Ah! Uh, oh my gosh! And the little glasses. Oh my word! I'm gonna have to put her in this like ASAP because she's she is growing out of zero to three month clothes. Yeah, like, she's she sure is. Seriously, I'm gonna have to <laughs> definitely put her in that really soon. Oh, this is cute. What is it? It's a burp rag, but um, these are actually used, I think, for cloth diapers. Oh, really? Yeah, this is a really cute cloth diaper if that's what it is. I remember my mom had a bunch of these and then we just used them for like cleaning 
after I got scared of babies, but this one's really cute. I'm gonna have to, I think, buy more stuff in your shop. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah. I think this might, oh, this is the peach stuff she's talking about. Oh, really? Yeah, this is peach cobbler jam. Ooh. And you know what? What? I forgot to get jelly and jam at the store today. <laughs> Perfect! I love that. I love when that happens. Straight from Georgia. I love Straight it. Straight from Georgia. I love it. Like a Georgia peach. Are you sweet like a Georgia peach? I mean, that's peach? literally what this is, love. I know. Are you, are you sweet like a Georgia peach? <laughs> I sure am. Oh, macaron, macaron. tea towels. <laughs> In the kitchen! You know, these are going to look really cute once we redo the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do like a white marbly thing. Oh gosh, woman, you got dreams. I do have dreams. You got dreams, just girl. Just look brown. So cute. What's this now? I don't know. Ooh, it looks like something you'll like. I think this is for you. This is peach buds, hard candy with a peachy tang. Ooh, you know I like that. You know I like it. Let me try it. He has tried so much candy in this video. I have not. So much candy. I have not. That's what they. That's what they like to see. They like to see me. Wow, these are beautiful. It's a good thing you ate. They look like <laughs> crystals. Dinner before though. I gave you scissors. Oh my word. Here. They smell so good. Smell that. Oh yeah. They smell, you can smell so it good. Plastic. Oh, that smells so good. That smells real. Is it hard mm. candy? Oh, I bit my lip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You sound like a grandpa. <laughs> that is so good. I'm allergic to peach. Um, like fresh peach. There's, I don't know, some enzyme. And cherries and... Fresh when they're fresh. Um, and it's not like, you know, it's stone fruit and tree nuts. It just, it like give me like, uh, like make Itchy. my throat itch for like hours. Nothing like severe. But this tastes so good. And I really <laughs> taste peach because of it. It's and I'll, true. I'm sure I'll be able to eat this jam, no problem. It's because it's been heated and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about like after either like peach or cherries have been canned or uh, I think it's the fresh enzymes or something, something in it. There's fresh and fresh that it bothers me, but it's so mild. So I'm I'm very much looking forward to this because I love peach, so good. Yeah. But the more you're exposed to it and you have the allergic reaction, the worse it gets. The worse? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. You're not just. Did you get this via research or? Yeah. Did you just throw that out there to instill fear in my heart? No, it's true. <laughs> you know when you get stung by a bee and you keep getting stung by bees, your allergic reaction becomes worse? No, because when I get stung by a bee, I make a conscious effort to not be stung again. I know, but you know people <laughs> that have been stung, I'm sure, and every time it gets worse and worse. <laughs> Bethany Whaley. Guys, go check out her shop. It's so awesome. I absolutely love when People send us stuff that they've made. Mm -hmm. It's so inspiring. It's so cool to see people like make stuff with their hands or with their minds or whatever. It's just so cool to see that. And we really need to support that. So guys, if you're at all interested in uh, the stuff that- In the baby stuff. The stuff that she made this like this This is really here, cute and that's These adorable. two things here. If you're interested in that and you have a baby, check the shop out. I think support. she made this too. She did you make this. So? Yeah, she tweeted me about it and she put it in the note that she made it. For real? Uh-huh. That's clever. Check her out. If you're all interested in getting any of this stuff, check it out. Support independent artists. It makes a difference. It makes it so we're not all going to be shopping at Walmart one day. Ew, Walmart. <laughs> I don't support Walmart. <laughs> all right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go check out this video right here. YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it. Also, click that right up there to subscribe because we make videos Monday through Monday. <laughs> High five.